Welcome back to Bull Sessions here on 680 KFEQ. Got a question that you want Brad to answer on the show? Got an idea for the show? Email the guys at bull at willcross.net. Now, here's Randy Baker and agronomist Brad Law. Hi, Bradley. You know what I was thinking? We're going to spend the fourth segment making bull sessions great again. Oh, we are. We're going to try. We are. What do you think? I kind of butchered this last segment somewhat. Well, and and here's how we're going to make bull sessions great again. If you ever thought that you'd like to have a career in radio, I am looking for a new co-host for the show. (laughs) If you would like to uh, email your resume to Bull. How much does that pay? Um, I'll give them half of what I make, which is uh, nothing divided by two. So uh, if anybody's interested in signing up and taking Randy's spot, I am entertaining all offers. Bribes are encouraged and we'll put you to the top of the list. I was going to say, you can make some money on this if you get people to pay you to do the show with you, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, (laughs) that's how I'm going to make bull sessions great again. Have you ever heard of Balco, Missouri? I believe so. You know right where it is. Yes, I've been out there. K Wood. Yes. You've heard of that yes. out there, not around the corner. Right is there? it right next to Seventy One Farms? It is. It is. It really. Is. And K Wood Farms. I, I, We're going to our fo- our uh, farmer focus this week is the Hannah family. They've been right. out there for a long time. Wonderful, wonderful farm family. We love farm families. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yes. We talk about that all the time. We're pro family here. We at Bull are Sessions. pro family. Uh, the the leaders of that pack is Veldrin and uh, Janine, Hannah, and then his son uh, Vel, uh, Delvin and Robin, and then his son Josh and his wife Jackie. They uh, Josh, I was talking to him the other day, and he told me that. Veldrin, which is his grandfather's mm-hmm. mother, maiden name was Kaywood. I always wondered why do they Boy, call this Kaywood, and there it is. And I, I wanted to go deeper into that because you know there's a story there that goes back. You know, we like to tell stories here at Bull mm-hmm. Sessions. I like stories. Um, I'm pro stories also. Also, seed production growers for Will Cross Seed. I'm pro Will Cross currently. That's currently. <laughs> <laughs> that's good to know. <laughs> currently as well as your job is current right current. Now. <laughs> mine as well yours as well yes. okay uh again we love the hannah family they've been seed production growers i don't know how long it's been before i was ever involved in will cross so they go back they do a magnificent job they've got some wonderful good bottom land over there um very nice ground you, yeah very nice ground very nice family, good Christian family. We love that too. So that's, we thank you and a big shout out to the Hannah family at Bulco, Missouri. All right. So now I wanted to recap of um, you're sending the show pony out. Uh-huh. And the show pony <laughs> yeah. is going to be in uh, Nebraska, up at Lincoln, Nebraska show on December the 6th. Um, through the 8th. Well, this pony will only be there on the 6th. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to have some other guys there on the yep. 7th and the 8th. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be at the Nebraska Power Farm Show. Yeah. Now, if anybody's... Second biggest. Second biggest uh, indoor farm show in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. If no, If you haven't ever been there, it's worth the trip up there, but you need to leave early and you're yeah. going to come home late. Because it has 9.2 acres. Yeah. Under Huge. buildings of stuff, stuff to see and wear your walking boots okay big iron because there's lots of iron there's lots of stuff there's 2,284 booths up there mm-hmm. and one of them being our will cross seed booth in pavilion two yes pavilion two pavilion two please stop by there i'm sure there'll be some hats and some stuff like that uh, and you you can see andrew and you can make fun of andrew possibly yeah like bradley does all the time andrew will be there okay mm. and i think blake's gonna be up there for the whole mm. show blake will be there and i think jeff's even coming up for the end of the show jeff's gonna be there and so, bryce who we just and, talked yeah, with bryce he'll be probably there be at sometime the show some. and so, 
I'm going to be a dancing chicken up there because I am doing a <laughs> seminar room. <laughs> yes. Um, they have different Giving people come a in. Speech. I'm going to give a spiel and probably field some questions. We're going to talk about managing resistant weeds. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll be Big on deal. the December 6th in seminar room two from 1145 to 1230. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'll talk about some weed control stuff and some soybean fields and then mm-hmm. probably let people ask me questions, which is always dangerous. And uh, just kind of hang out there and I'll be at the show all day. So if you guys want something to do on the 6th, Come up and see me. If you can't make it, come up and see the other guys on the 7th and 8th. I'm sure you'll have some some pe- spectators to come and watch well, the chicken dance. The chicken dance. Do, yes. you, do you think there will be any uh, picket uh, picket lines going to, to protest your list that, from the beginning of the show? Oh, my, Miles, there could be. He gets a little, well, maybe he rides the, the edge. People, maybe, people brandishing signs. And, you know. Maybe if they're holding, uh, maybe if uh, the pretzel company pays people to picket, because I hear you can put people to work by paying them to protest. Well, yeah, they're, that's what I've heard. That that is what I've heard. So you know, and another thing, let's say if you said, "Oh, what was this list they're talking about?" Well, flip on over on the computer to YouTube. Yeah. And uh, I did some redneck computer work. Mm-hmm. And if you Google Will Cross Bull Sessions, yeah, and you can go through and Click I've on got videos, right? It's all these videos that'll be on there, and I've had all the past bull sessions put online. And there's a creative picture that I've used uh, for this show. And uh, it'll be listed for the date, and you can find it in a segment one, two, three, and four. And uh, you can listen to that. And also, I wanted to share with everybody a few um, talk about some plot results. Yeah. You know, because we, we talked about in our commercials about all mm-hmm. this stuff I had mm-hmm. going on at my house, and we've got plots. Been watching it all, all summer. The way, I think the way Wagon's been to Nebraska, to up there at Cook, Nebraska, it's been all the way oh, to yeah. home Kansas. It's been to Centralia, Centralia Hannibal. Um, You're cutting a wide swath, aren't you? It's every Well, I, I didn't do this by myself. I had lots of helpers. We did. And a lot I, of help. I can't be everywhere, and we all got to work together as a team, and that's one thing that's really great. Yeah. But I've got, I brought with me, just in case, uh, the plot data from my farm. And uh, we were kind of looking around at it. And several people come out to the farm and they saw I've got a plot on each side mm-hmm. of my driveway. Right. I've got about uh, 39 trials of corn on one side of my driveway. And then I had 30 some trials of beans on the other, then more mm-hmm. in the backyard, more in another spot, and another spot. And. Yeah. Trying to get the whole farm into plots so and I can yard. get that seed cost down, you know. And uh, <laughs> he steals all the seed from Wilcross to plant his plots. <laughs> well, it's your plots, Randy. I know. And, uh, you know, the plot along my yard for the show plot, mm-hmm. a, 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 a workhorse hybrid that we've had, 6517, yeah. a family bee. Mm hmm. Won the plot at 219 bushel. Uh, that works. You know, and some people said, well, that's a family bee. Ain't those the ones that got trouble with test weight? Well, it had a 59.7 pound test weight. That that works. That works. Uh-huh. You know, the yield works. The the yield works. That works. You know, I was real happy with that. You know, the, the second place one was 64.99. Mm-hmm. You know, and that come in, the stack version of it come in at 216 bushel. It's a test weight was 61.2 pounds in that trial. That really works. You know, and what we did that was kind of neat, um, with aggregate corn, you can get the same number in VT2, yep. stacked, yep. or conventional. Mm-hmm. So what I did is put them side by side. Mm-hmm. So four rows of each of them. So yeah. within 12 rows, which some people got a bigger planter than that, Sure. but four rows in the plot, we had the VT2 version that come in at 201. Okay. We had the conventional come in at 212. Mm-hmm. And then the stack version come in at 216. Mm-hmm. So you can kind of look and say, well, wait a minute. You don't care if we buy the traits or not because you right. tried them. So people can look at that. Do I need the stack corn? What's the price Four bushel difference? difference. Four bushel and the price of the seed is oh quite a bit different. Hugely. You know, so can you control your weeds without using Roundup and corn? Mm-hmm. Well, 
HPPDs are mm-hmm. really good on the pig weeds. Mm-hmm. Also, atrazine is good on the pig weeds. Yep. One thing we got to look at, if those pigs are already Roundup resistant, what good is Roundup doing us in corn? I don't know. Well, it's grass. Something to absolutely think about you know, price-wise. You know, on the conventional corn, we worry about grass. Uh-huh. Okay, because corn is a grass. Foxtail, millet is a grass. Uh-huh. If you get it pre, you've got to get that pre to have success with conventional corn. You know, uh-huh. we go on down in the plot, we had some impride corn that's uh-huh. got some very good price points on it. Huge. And we put sixty four ninety nine on both sides of it, uh-huh. just as a kind of the go-to hybrid to compare. Yep. And in that little spot, that M Pride thirty one forty four, it went two hundred and four point six, which was better than the sixty four ninety nine in that area of the plot. A conventional hundred and fourteen day corn, correct? Yep. That is yep. price to move. Yeah, extremely good price on it, and and all of those, all of those are. So that, that I just wanted to share a few things from the mm-hmm. corn because. You had some 80 bushel soybeans. Out yes, there. we had we had we had 80 bushel, and we even had a population plot where we averaged 70. But I think we're going to run out of time on that, Randy. I think so. I think we might. So, uh, um, you know what I'm going to do now before we leave? Okay, you've got a Bible verse, I don't do. you? I do, and I'm going to. I want you to pay attention to this. Okay, I okay. will. I it was do. good seeing you in church on Sunday as well. This is Ecclesiastes nine. 10 through 11, whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might, for there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you are going. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, nor bread to the wise, nor riches to men of understanding, nor favor to men of skill, but time and chance happen to them all. So, Bradley, that wraps up another session of Bull Sessions. And remind everybody that if they miss something, Mm -hmm. they can check us out on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they've got anything, they can email us at bulletwillcross.net. Yep, on Bull Sessions. Yep, absolutely. Right here on 680 KFEQ. Thanks for joining us for Bull Sessions, brought to you by Will Cross Seed. Randy and Brad will be back next Saturday morning, tackling more topics from farming to livestock, soil to seed, farm equipment to rural life. So be sure to join us next Saturday morning, same time for Bull Sessions, right here on 680 KFEQ.